Hey guys, it's Sam, and I thought I would do a very quick makeup look. I'm about to get on the computer and do a few live meetings. The first two are uh, with the kids. We're doing small groups this week and try, trying that out. And then we have a great team meeting at uh, 2 p.m. And I am in pre-K for those of you that are uh, don't know. And I just wanted to show you, time is 12.34, and I need to be ready by 12.55. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do... Oh, that hair is so annoying. Do you guys see that right there? <laughs> uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put on moisturizer, and then uh, my lip balm. Um, so my hair, I just, I just saw a gray hair, so that's why I want to talk about it. Uh, so I have been coloring my hair for black, uh, for a little while, and then there was a, I think I might have mentioned it in a video where I haven't colored my hair in, oh gosh, a really long time. I mean, I want to say at least a year, but I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember, but it's been a long time. It's as, it hasn't just been a couple of months. It's been since last year. Um, and it just so happens now we're, you know, staying at home. A lot of us are staying at home. And um, I heard, I was reading something, I heard something where hair dye is the next panic buy thing. Um, I have hair dye in case I do feel like coloring my hair, but a lot of gray is like right here. <laughs> um, but you can strate strategically place your hair so that you don't see as much gray. Uh, the computer, unless you have like, I feel like your setup is all like HD and your computer is like really like high, high quality or like you know the higher end of stuff I don't think I have to worry about covering up any gray hairs if that's something that you're worried about um because I know my my laptop uh my laptop is is good one but it's not like the camera on there is not very good okay anyway <laughs> um the point of that was I'm not, that's like one area where I'm not concerned about it and I'm kind of taking this time to grow out my eyebrows even though they are um, not super thin uh, but like I overplucked like around here so that's growing in and I'm just, um, you know, just trying to see if you could see more like they're, they're popping in there guys, they're popping in so I'm not... <laughs> I'm not too worried about it, and I think that's enough time spent on my gray hair. Okay, I'm going to skip primer. Actually, you know what? There's one in here, so I'm going to use it. So this is the NYX No Filter Blurring Primer. It's not my favorite. It looks like that. And I just want just to use it up. I know every the bases, I don't put primer on. Usually it's because I, I don't give myself enough time to get ready. No liquid foundation. And I should say, this is not a tutorial. It's just what I do before I get um, on the computer to go live for meetings. So this is the It Cosmetics Foundation. If you watch me get put my makeup on for work, it's basically the same thing. And this one is in light. And I go mostly concentrate under my eye. And definitely under my chin because I have a lot of redness there. And then around my nose. I have, so I have suffered from allergies basically all year round, but in the spring it's, since I've been doing allergy shots, not that bad, but this morning I felt 
like my nose is all gross. And I do sometimes go over my eyelids since they are so dark. Okay. Then for blush, I'm using... This is the Flower Beauty in BD3. Mm, but I'm not going to contour anything. Actually, maybe I should. This step I don't normally do, but since I have a little bit of time today... Okay, and then Eyebrows. This is a Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. And I'm just going to lightly fill that in. I'm just putting on enough makeup where it just, things just look sort of like I did a little bit but not too much. And I find that eyebrows are the one thing that, eyebrows and cheeks, eyebrows, um, are the, the two things that I find that kind of fade. I don't know what it is when you're on camera. So, I'm just lightly filling this in. And then I brush it out with the spoolie. And then last step is mascara. So the Sonia Kashuk used to be my favorite eyelash curler, but I have to tell you, Tweezerman is giving it a run for its money. I just love this. It just works so well. So I'm just going to fix my hair and put real clothes on. <laughs> Hair done, right as you can tell, both are pretty basic. I um, keep it very simple. For my hair, I just pulled it back and I did cut it earlier um, earlier in March and I cut the, the sides too short near the front so I have to put bobby pins on both sides and that's just a personal thing. I just don't like hair on my face. And then uh, for clothes, just pulled something out of my um, dresser there and I'll probably wear this a few times this week because I'm not going out and I'm not sweating in it so I don't really need to change um I guess that's it my friends my meeting is about to start it is 12 48 with the kids I'm excited because it's going to be small as I mentioned at the beginning it's going to be smaller groups so instead of about like 15 kids there's going to be three um, it's going to be short for right now, only about 15 minutes, but that's a long time when you're talking about little kids, to them anyway. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are all doing as well as you can during this time. Let me know what your makeup routine has been, if you have any. Some days I'll go without wearing any makeup, and that's fine with me. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! And I totally forgot to mention that. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> I'm wearing my sweatpants. <laughs>